Welcome, everybody. Uh, well, welcome back to TJ Warren TV, people. I know you missed us. I know you missed Dal as well. Um, well Arsenal are out of the Champions League after losing 1-0 away at the Allianz Arena to Bayern Munich and losing 2-3 on aggregate. Um, I I don't really even have the words. I mean, it's like... I, I don't even feel like I'm not even disappointed. Like, oh, I'm disappointed, but it's just like I'm like numb to it at this point. Yeah. Like, I, I, this is a result that is almost you almost expected. Like, as much as I wanted to deny it, and I went on streams and I said, Ooh. yeah, I feel like I have a feeling Arsenal can can squeak it out. I mean, I just think that's like my inner like kid that still believes in Santa Claus talking. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I mean. We didn't play, play well. We didn't play bad. Obviously, welcome to the match reaction, people. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. Connor will be, Connor will be joining us shortly. Um, obviously, we got Dal here, my American idiot cohort. Dal, how you doing, brother? Uh, seen better days. <laughs> yep. You know, I um, I don't know. I gotta agree with our pal Luke. It was just slow. It was slow. I mean, the passing was all right. The movement was all right. But that's the thing. It was just all right. And we needed something a little special tonight. It just never really materialized. Um, you know, we saw we saw that um, Martinelli just, you know, you get that far, just dink it. Yeah. I mean, he dribbled right through their defense. If he had just dinked the ball with his, with his toe, toe punch it in a corner or something. You know, yeah. No, I mean, there, and we talked about that during. We, I mean, we, Martinelli just. I don't know. We, he, I mean, we talked about this at the beginning us. that like there, there were there were so many what if moments in the first half that we literally right. called it out that if we lose this game, it you know we're gonna look at that. You know, what we should have said is when we lose this game, we should have thought about that because I just didn't see any urgency, bro. We we talked about that on the on the watch along. It's just like. Was there any urgency, like marked urgency at the end there? I really don't – I really didn't see it. I really didn't see it at all. No, it's just the, the urgency came when they got us on the back foot. And the urgency was us in trying to defend. Yep. You know, and it, it just looked too – it looked too pedestrian at times going forward. It's like we were looking for that um, that one little opening that never really came. I mean, again, Martinelli, bro, you've got to trap that ball and just – slice your laces through it. You can't just always one, you know, put it right at the keeper, open footed shot. He had acres of space in there to actually literally trap the ball, the bottom of his foot and just swing at it. And I know I for sure it would have been one nil at that time. And then we we're talking a different game, but Arsenal, the club of could have, should have, would have, I mean, yeah, I've been dealing with this for 25 years, bro. It's not, you know, I had some glorious moments. Over the last 15, 16 years, some great FA Cup runs. You know, um, Champions League final for me was the time we needed to really revamp it. That was way back in 2007, 2006. So um, I'm doing okay, Steve-O. Uh, Steve-O, you know, Steve-O call, know Steve called me. So, so shout out, Steve. Yeah, no, I know he's a Byron fan and that, he, he likes him. But it's just funny that also – the first year that Kane joins Bayern Munich, they don't win the Bundesliga. <laughs> so th I guess that's a plus. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think it was one of those games where it, it it just depended on some moments of brilliance from either player. Yep. Either player on either side. And, and Joshua Kimmich came through. He split the defense and had a great header. And there's not a lot you can do about that, you know. I mean, he, he split, looks like Martinelli and Tommy Asu, but Tommy Asu was watching his man at the back. Martinelli kind of got – caught flat-footed, but he's not really supposed to be doing that, right? He's more of an outlet guy. So you could say Martinelli got caught out for that goal a bit, but that was just a, a great goal by Kimmich. But we did, I think, you know, turn on the snooze button there for that second cross. We yeah. just had a 10-second a, a lapse in concentration. That's all it takes, you know? I mean, anybody, Spurs fans, anybody. I, I know I see Will. Shout out Will and Jacob in the chat. I think Will would agree. You turn your – 
mind off for 15 seconds against Bayern Munich or any of these top teams, and they will punish you. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what happened. Um, and I, again, I'm with you, TJ. I'm not really <clears throat> upset the way we played. I thought the first half we just we just couldn't find the back of the net. Second half they they came out a lot quicker and more intense than we were, I think, ready for. So, um, but I I think at the end of this season I'm ready to call it quits with Arteta. Yeah, we're definitely going to get into that. No, I agree. I agree. We're definitely going to get into that. Um, big up, Sheik. Big up everybody inside, by the way. We got a lot of people in here coming to do the Macarena on our graves. I did uh, – Cubed ask if she could come on. I said she could come on, but Cubed, oh, you better be behaved. Um, Cubed is the only Spurs fans that I can – Spurs fan I can tolerate right now. I'm going to have to deal with Jacob tomorrow. I'm going to have to deal with Flawless tonight. I'm going to have to deal with um, Sheik's buddy, or Moderno. I'm going to have to de deal with all you guys. But you know what? Right now, it's just – look at my eyes. I, I, it, you knew you're, you're looking at a man, you're looking at a man that knew this was coming. So mm. it's not like, it's not like I'm broken hearted about it. What's going to make me angry and what I'm going to rant about maybe on this show, maybe not is the fact <sighs> that it's, we're already like head up boys on to the next. Like, oh, I'm, not, I'm not, TJ, I'm not, Twitter. Oh, I'm not my doing God. that. No, I'm staying off of Twitter. I didn't, bro. Connor, I didn't even share it, bro. I didn't even share it. Are you? Are is that? Are you? Oh my god! I thought that was a. Picture. That was scary. Why are Jesus, you scary yeah, I was scary for a second. Freaking, Connor's bro, having a mental breakdown. Bro, a, a Champions League journey to be proud of. <laughs> Our PR <laughs> but, but deserves that. to be fucking sacked for that tweet. What a joke! Oh, who said that? Where on my life? Who said Arsenal, that? The social Arsenal media manager for that. Arsenal. Oh, I said that. Awesome, all over Twitter, Instagram. What Twitter. a great journey! This ain't the fucking never-ending story, bro. I don't know what they're talking about. Journey. This wasn't a journey. This was a struggle to get through. Let's not forget the group stages. Let's not forget Pardo. Let's not forget Zinchenko. Let's not forget, you know, the the, the so bad so passing so that was too heavy or too soft. I mean, so you know what? I want to shout to someone in here, TJ. My man, BVB David, for getting it done against Atletico Madrid yesterday. Shout out, BVB David. You must be on top of the freaking world right now because not everyone can beat Atletico Madrid. What a game. And I'll tell you what, TJ Connor, I think Dortmund are a level above Bayern Munich. They looked phenomenal yesterday. Julian Brandt was all over that pitch yesterday. And I think if we were to play them, they would absolutely kill us. And I'm not saying Bayern Munich killed us, but I think Dortmund, the form they're in right now, would absolutely kill us because they they were relentless yesterday. We didn't Fantastic. play to win. That's the biggest thing. That's the, the biggest complaint I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have throughout this whole thing. And you know, I'm like, I'm not even angry. Like, I'm not. I'm gonna keep responding. I'm gonna keep saying that, which probably would make people think that I am angry, but I'm not. Like, the way the way that we played today is the way that we've been playing for the last three or four matches. Yes. Like where it's so, it's so casual. And Connor, I talked about this with you um, prior, prior to the Man City game. And we said, you know, there's no Dubai trip. There's no, there's no feel good factor. There's nothing. So we have to start getting results. And it, as soon as we didn't get a result against Bayern, like, I can tell you when our season fell apart. It wasn't when we drew against Man City. It was when we conceded for the first time on a boneheaded play by our back line against Bayern. That's when it ended because our heads went down and they haven't come up since. And what did I say? What have I said time and time again? One of my biggest criticisms is, isn't of, of this manager isn't because of his tactics. It's the fact that he cannot pull this team out of a rut to save his life. When wow. this team loses, you can guarantee we're dropping points the next game. And we're going against Wolves away this weekend on April. I think it's April 20th, right? On Saturday? Yeah. yeah we're going so against them on April 20th away. And you, you think Gary O'Neill is going to have a welcoming party ready you know, for us at Molyneux. I just said this so, on side, I just said this on side stream, TJ, right? Have you have you seen all season 
any different type of football we've played. We play, and listen, I'm not saying it's bad football because we're winning games, we're second in the league, fuck's sake. But like, the point I'm trying to make is when we need to change our style of football, when we need something different, because you can see that it's a, and TK said it perfectly, it's affecting Sacra Martinelli. They need something different. These players need something different to do. Let them just go free. Don't hold them back so tactically, right? We need a, a change of style in, foot, in of football when we are in a struggle because we can't keep playing this football when we're when we're when we're needing another goal and we're playing the same formation, but we're just putting players in different positions for it. How about just change the formation, Mikel? Just say, yo, I'm putting on four attackers. All of you just lob up front. All of you stay up front, and the team will just have to defend for their lives at the back. I want all four of you to mark every single defender they've got. It, whether that's whoever who, who was on the pitch at the same time, Trossard, Jesus, Saka, Havertz, all of you four, I want you all four up front by the defenders. All four of the defenders, you sit there and the rest of the team stay back and we just lob balls up to you. Keep lobbing them, but we don't do that. We have the same one striker up front, the wingers, we don't change anything. It's the same. When we need to change something and we need to adapt to a game, because Bayern was sitting back, they were comfortable, they were defending because they had one attacker to defend. Every, did you not see every time we had the ball up front to the striker, there was four defenders on him because there was no one else around. They could get all get on him, get him from going past every single time. Like I said, it's not that difficult to say, yo, you want to go all out attack? Because that's what Mikel looked like he wanted to do. Instead of just putting Havertz in midfield and then change, just putting people in different positions but carrying on with the same football, it won't change a fucking thing, Mikel. Whack all four of them up front, yeah. in a, whatever you want to do, in a 4 2 4, whatever you want to do. Leave them all up front with the defenders, send them through, and maybe you'll get a goal out of it. Change the style of play. You're not going to, you, you can't adapt to a game. It's as simple as that. You can't adapt to games when it matters, when you need to win a game. Don't get me wrong. There's been games this season where we've gone ahead and won games because we played good football. And it's as simple as that. And the system's worked. But when you need to win the game, when you're in a in a in a rut like Aston Villa, like today, when you need a goal, he doesn't change it. He just plays the same formation, just with different players in it, thinking it's going to yeah. change. Right. Yep. So, bro, we will not win anything under Mikel Arteta. It's as simple as that. We're not going to win the Premier League this season. It's a pipe dream now. There's everyone's got this fantasy that City are going to drop points. And we're going to win every single game. This is everyone's living in fantasy fucking land that we're going to all. They just they they're soothsayers, TJ Dow. They're so, they've they've gone to uh, they've gone to the end of May and they've seen we've just won every game in the league and City have dropped points. We won the league. We're not. We don't know that you frauds. Come on now, be realistic. I don't think City are going to drop points. City are manhandling currently a Real Madrid team. Have you seen the stats? They're manhandling them. They're going to win that game, City. I'm telling you. My point is, Arteta can't adapt to games when he needs to. Um, and of course, the Tottenham boys are here. Your man, Harry Kane, seemed a bit quiet tonight. Yeah, he didn't, didn't do miss. anything. Why are you guys even here? He didn't exactly. do anything. He didn't do anything. Okay. They'll be he's here. Been, and the funny thing chat. is, right, they can't even qualify for fucking Champions League this year. <laughs> Unless they get full. So, yeah, I know. I know. It's so, and that's so funny that they're in here laughing. Like, you have fun in Europa League. Like, you guys you guys are not coming anywhere near Champions League. We would have needed, we would have needed to get through to get you into Champions League. It's just sad. It's, it's weird. It's yeah. Sad. It's sad. And listen, so, yeah, have listen guys, fun. I know you're lonely, right? And you need something to cheer you up. And I understand that, right? You know, <laughs> I couldn't go over a decade, right, with just no trophies in my cabinet, right? I couldn't do that. Like, mentally, that would that would haunt me. And I get that it's done it to you guys. And if you want to laugh, listen, enjoy it. Listen, I know it's hard for you guys to find entertainment nowadays for Spurs. I get it. So, please enjoy it while you can. Um, but it's great. Oh, Will... I thought you were finishing third and you were finishing above Well, Arsenal. I thought you were finishing above Arsenal. Finishing above Arsenal Will. I love how Will's now returned all of a sudden. Big up Will every single time. And I think you're working. But come on the stream, Will. We need to talk to Will you. Came, Will, came, Will came out of the forest. Like, he's selling his wares. He came out of the forest. Clip. to uh, you finishing third. Uh, and Arsenal finishing fourth. <laughs> I've, I've got that clip still, Will. Please come on the stream, whether it's TJ's, Tottenham away, or mine. <laughs> we need... Oh, Will, get out of here, man. Oh, no, 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 that's, no, that is delusion. No, that is delusion. No, you're He's not. So, this guy is so funny, no, dude. Hey, he's tapped. Yeah. He is tapped. Uh, <laughs> Will, no. Relax. relax. Um, but hey, listen. Tottenham fans may laugh. It's all good. Um, but one thing I will say is, right, and this is going to sound such so like a, such like a top gooner, I'm happy we didn't get smashed. Just at least that. Because at least 
we you won do sound like a top gooder. Capitulate, no, but like you know, there were teams before that would have capitulated and just whacked in a five six, you know. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, right? You can't ex- you can't accept that this manager can't adapt to football games when he needs to. It's just annoying, man. Um, listen, it is what it is, and um, we're going this season trophyless once again. And I'm just waiting for the excuses already. Oh, but it was a good performance. It was a good performance. At least it wasn't three or four. You know, like sarcasm when he says that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, no, no, no. We know this is sarcasm. Out, out, out. Yeah, listen, it is what it is. But um, hey, we move. We're Arsenal fans. We do this normally now. Yeah. Drink up. TJ Arsenal don't even belong in the Champions League. We're not that level ever. I mean, we belong. I think we belong in the Champions League. We just don't belong in the top eight of the Champions League. Um, I we well, we didn't even like. This is a Bayern Munich team that is historically underachieving, and we are supposed to be. We have we have a a player value of about one billion dollars, and we cannot get it over the line. We can't. Like there has to be major decisions if we don't win. And and, and here's the thing: is we if we don't win the prem, he's got to go. He's got to go. It, it's 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 and and I've maintained this, and people have called me a flip flop because I wasn't on. You know, Dal, people call you a flip flop because we won, I wasn't on his neck when we won nine league games in a row. You know that? Yeah. So so here's what I'm gonna say, and then I would like to hear 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 from you about it. It I I have maintained since August. That if we do not win a trophy, and I I wasn't even specific about what trophy it was, I would have gladly taken a League Cup. I would have gladly taken an FA Cup. Just show us you have a winning mentality. But if you don't win this league, buddy, you got to go. It's time to go. As as a as a good buddy of everybody on this chan of everybody on this plan forum used to say, it's time to go. go. Shut Get up, somebody. Shout out, Claude. Rest in peace. We have to get somebody in here with the mentality to get us over the line. Bro's limping again. He's That's limping not even again. This game. That's not. He's not wearing the same shirt, Connor. We what? That's not from today. We were not. Oh, shit, yeah. God, Connor. <laughs> head's so Connor, Connor showed shit from last Connor, season. My head's so gone. No, over listen, there? my head's gone, man. My head's gone. My head's Your gone. head is gone, bro. I will say this. Matt, Matt lost his shit. No, Matt, no, Matt, Matt, Matt skin. I need to go back and watch that rant. He lost his shit. But he's right. He's yeah. right. What have we yeah. said with the legends over there on, on, on Lee Gunner's channel? We're saying the same thing, only maybe maybe a little bit of lower volume. Yeah. It, it, we got to win. We got to start winning stuff. And it doesn't look like we're winning the league because we had one, one eye on this game playing against an Aston Villa team that we warned them not to, that I warned everybody not to underestimate. Mm-hmm. And we did, and now that result is looking like the worst result of the season we're for gonna, us. We're going to fall apart again, CJ. We're going to fall apart. We've done this. Every, we do this every year. We fall apart um, when it matters. The team. I know for a fact what the team going to do. I don't know. Do you know what? Listen, for all I know, the team could win their next um, six games. But will I be proud? I guess because they tried. But at the end of the day, again, when it comes to it and you need to win that one game, I swear to God, if we win our next six games and City win their next six and they win the league, I'm going to look back at that Villa game and I'm going to be like, it's so infuriating when you need that moment to win a game and it costs you. It's just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's um, it's just infuriating, but it's it's it comes to a point where you've got to now ask these top gooners, when... Does it end? When does it actually come to the point where you're like, do you know what? This manager really isn't it. And if I hear one more word about flipping atmosphere or the culture of the club, I couldn't get. So was the culture of the club changed on Sunday when the fans left, when the fans were in their seats by the 53rd minute? That's real culture change, isn't it? I saw videos today on fucking on the Arsenal Twitter about stand up or what, the believe shit that Robbie does. Like, it's just it's all PR bollocks. And I'm sick of it, man. I'm actually sick of it. And now still spamming me with messages. Here we go. Oh, I hate no, my phone. I, I had to throw him. I, I'm literally throwing my phone across the room. 
Um, yeah, because it's uh, it's blowing up, and I want to do it. I'm already I was already getting called from, by Strasbourg Steve when he was on Sarcasm City, and he was streaming. He was trying to get me to be, be angry. I'll be angry later, but but right now I'm just kind of numb to it. Like, like of yeah. course, like of course I'm angry. But what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do right now? Just just th- pretend and and rant and rave and yell because because I I expected us to get through. I really didn't. After after we drew at home. What did we say when we drew it? When before the game at the Emirates, we were saying we needed a two nil minimum. That was me and Dow saying that. And now mm-hmm. apparently, oh my gosh, Dow, we were right. It looks like we did need that. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Like, yeah, whatever. But Smash the likes, people, while you're here. I'm just, I'm just tired of not seeing the intensity. Like we're our tennis. No, there's some games we look like we're just playing teams off the pitch, but you really have to take a look at the lens, right? Mm-hmm. Palace, West Ham, Fulham. I mean, it's just they're not even comparable to the of a Porto or a Bayern Munich. Yep. You're talking about two teams that are consistently in the Champions League for the last 20 years at least. I, I mean, Porto won it, I think, in 2002. When Deco had his face paint on under Jose Mourinho, so some of these teams are football heritage, of course. But I just thought today that the first, the first half we looked good. Like I said, the positioning was good, the passing was good, but it was slow and it played right into their hands. And that's where I just like, like, why is Kai Havertz on the pitch? He's not good at the midfield. He didn't do jack shit today up front, like I knew he wasn't going to. And he slows the game down. And I said before, I wanted Martinelli and Jesus. Well, Jesus did jack shit today, too. At one point, he was playing, I think, like center mid, you know, with Odegaard up front as a as a false nine. I mean, I don't know if they even know where to go at this point. It, it lost direction in the second half. It was, you know, they came out in the second half, bar guns blazing, for lack of a better term. And, you know, again, we turned – Turned our heads off on that second cross, looking for someone else to do the job, TJ. That's the problem I have. No one's taking initiative and saying, yeah. oh, that guy's free. I better attack the ball with my hands behind my back, but not just attack it, like kind of run over there, but go over there and like, get on their face, like really make a presence known. We, I don't think we did much of that at all today. We had some decent tackles in, in the box. I think Ben White had one or Jorginho had a great one. But again, we were on the back foot. We looked very good going forward. We moved the ball well. The buildup, the passing and the buildup was good, but it just wasn't fast enough. And there was yep. times Bayern Munich, I think, went did a back heel and they not make Ben White right through the middle of, of, of the pitch. And you just can't have that happen. You know, once, once they got the ball and started dribbling and passing it, they were just through us like shit through a goose. And, and so much for the defense. Yeah, we contained Harry Kane today. But Ben White was average. Tommy Asu had a great first half, and second half got spun a couple times, but still wasn't the worst out there. I, I gotta say, Saka was the worst player out there today. Saka was absolutely terrible today. Just zero goals, zero assists, zero clearances on corners. On the one he did, he hit the first man at the end of the game. Just zero, zero, zero across the board, like. Te- players get double teamed. I, I I don't want to use that anymore as an excuse, right? We can't. We can say it because we see it, but at the same time, you tell me Vinny Junior doesn't get double teamed. Rodrigo, Jack Grealish, Sleeper well, Sade. Then- I mean, they get double teamed. That's part of what you do to isolate the winger for him to pass the ball back. But but he there's no creativity in him anymore. But get it on his left foot, dribble outside of the 18 yard box, and try and bend one far post. You ain't Gareth Bale, bro. And I yep. fucking hate Gareth Bale when he was a spur, but he was phenomenal for them in the last two seasons. And he was incredible at Madrid because he could bury the ball at 24 yards out. He could dribble in and nail the ball, bing, bang, bosh, top bins. His last season at, Madrid, his, uh, at Tottenham, he was absolutely phenomenal. He was doing things that Saka just simply cannot do. And, and that just makes him, to me, he's good. He is not great. He's had great moments, but we need great. 
We need to spend the money for great, and we need to get a team that had that can do great things in, in special moments. Today we had special moments, but we didn't have the greatness that we needed to finish it. Yep. No, I agree. And and oh, here's another thing tactically, right? And I want to get Connor. I want to give Connor a chance to give us one more talk before we go into the match reaction or before we go into player ratings. But oh, shit, yeah, player ratings. Yeah, player. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's 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 rate some of these players, I guess. But but to your point, Dow, like the fact that Saka is getting caught that deep with the ball and then getting double teamed, he has no space. He has nowhere to go. Like tactically, that is what you are supposed to be doing on a deep from a defensive right, posture. Defensively, against this guy. For sure. But but here, but this is another reason why Mikel Arteta needs to be looked at because he's consistently putting Bakayo Saka into those positions. Like tactically, you see it almost every single game. And I'm not. And and here's the thing is that I think Bakayo Saka is a great player. Is he a world-class player? No. That's yet to be seen. But here, but from from a tech, a purely a tactical standpoint, you see that he is not performing very well. But you're still push when you push the ball to that side, he gets absolutely swallowed up. So change the tactics. Like right. you're supposed to be this prodigy manager, Pep, you know, the Spanish 2.0 Pep. Why can't you change anything up to to free him up? Throw another overlap on there because I didn't see I didn't see Ben White overlap at all today. He couldn't. So yeah, exactly. So why like why are you not changing things up? That's that's my that's my problem. That's my with this whole thing. And Connor hit the two, and I think it's Lee Gunner said it to the other day. The only change up he does is a personnel. Like he would have changed soccer for Reese Nelson. What in the hell is Reese Nelson gonna do? Yep. Yeah, you know, I mean it's just run the ball out of bounds. <clears throat> right. The drop in quality is so drastic. And your man Paul's right. Sade was ten times better than Saka over both legs. Mm-hmm. Sade penetrated the goal. Sade whipped the ball across the goal. Sade won corner kicks. Sade got double teamed as well and figured out a way. Why can't Saka do this? And you know. It's, you know, train 007 saying he's a great player, needs rotation. Yeah, I know. I know. He's good. He's not great. He is not yet the level that we need to compete to, well, competing in some ways, to really, really compete in the, the end of it, right? It's one thing to compete during the tournament and be in there and win some games like we did, and we look good in some passing, a couple of nice goals. But when it really freaking matters, I'm sorry, Saka has let us down again. And that's also Martinelli. I thought Odegaard was kind of mid today. I thought Havertz was awful. And we'll get into the ratings. But I don't want to hear that Sock is great because he hasn't won anything under Arteta. But won FA Cup. And that was eons ago. And he's won zero cents. Zero. He's not great. By the way, while you're in here, make sure that you are uh, smashing the likes while you're dancing on our graves. We got all the ops in here right now. M. Derno, M. Baderno, or whatever, however you say your name, he's in here. Uh, don't don't you worry, man. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out of the crowd like the shield and hit you with a chair one of these times, my friend. On the mud brothers, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I I I, I see you talking shit. Don't worry. Don't worry. T- Papa TJ's here, and he sees all. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, big, big up everybody inside that's inside, by the way. Um, we are, we are into pens in the, uh, in the man city game, by the way, I'm actually going to turn that on now. Yeah, we got, we got it. We got to do that. Cause that's, uh, yeah, you know, teams, teams that teams that are elite that actually show up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I could see it out to the end. You could see it yeah. out to the end. That's the point I'm trying to make is that, it's just, it's it's so frustrating. It's like you're trying to climb a tree and you just stop about 80% of the way. You know? Yep. You just stop. Because I think there was a point today we did give up. Yep. Agreed. It was around the 70th minute when we, uh, or it was around the 80th minute when we put on uh, Eddie and Kenya uh, to try to score a goal. Um, <laughs> That's how you know the game's over, TJ. As soon as what? he, um, um, as soon as he brings on Eddie and Katie, the game's over, bro. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. That's For that's sure. that's not even a question. He's a freaking he's a freaking Eddie Murphy looking white flag, 
and you know he's not going to do anything and you haven't given him enough you haven't given him any minutes which i'm i'm thankful for but you what do you expect him to do when you when you when he doesn't get any playing time you expect him to be an impact player and all of a sudden turn into what was that from bernardo silva playing the stinker just then what was that Okay, let's let's break let's let's pause on this conversation so we can watch the rest of these pens. What was Silva doing there? I'm not watching any of that. No, I can't be oh my god. I don't even care. Okay. All right. We'll keep going. We'll keep going though, but I'm gonna keep yeah, an eye on this. I see Saka's numbers, 30 goals, assists, and so forth, but a lot of that is just uh, when it, I can't think of a game when Saka has scored a, in, in an intense game when we really needed it. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple out there. But it's easy to score. It looks easy as we have made it look easy to score against Crystal Palace, Fulham, West Ham. That looks that was all deceiving in the end because when it really matters, we yeah. fail. Yeah. Oh, to make my day easier, right, better. Yeah. Just to make my day ten times better. Let me Cubed, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you in, but you better be nice, Cubed. I'm gonna send you back to the Bat Cave. I want to die. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. What a bummer. <laughs> what? I'm seeing so nice. TJ said that I need to be you nice. Know, and know, I, I, take, I take cubed over Elias any day of the week. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, the comparison. Know. That's so gross. <laughs> you just made that comparison. Kovacic just, Kovacic just missed, by the way. I I just you know what? I'd rather just keep City in it because they have more games to play. Just I'd rather do that. It just makes for more the sense. record. I was just so nice just now, and then this kid Connor, who used to be such a sweet I'm kid, 20. Just, I'm, I'm twenty. He just flipped me off. He just flipped me off just now, even though it's so it's nice okay. and being like, oh, Connor, did you great. not? Connor, did you not learn any manners, Connor? How dare you? Do you know, do you know what I'm more pissed off about? No, I've been TJ, flipping off. I don't have enough, chat. I don't have enough okay, No, you know why? Because I don't have enough ramen. That's why. This is what it's come down to now. You know, I've now got to beg on the streets because I don't have enough ramen in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of super chats, right. I guess Elias did. I guess Elias did throw in a yeah, super chat. Yeah, but that's just so up here. Chat, that doesn't count. Um. Yeah, I love Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer, Dyer loves me. Okay. Right. Although Beautiful. you know what, I was wrong about something. Kane did not. Care. Yeah, Kane, Kane, Kane was. Kane, Kane, Kane was might as well not have shown how up. Did, like, how has Kane had so many goals this season? I don't even recall him being on the ball like at all. No, no, he was barely, he was barely active today. Yeah, but yeah, but in Kane's defense, okay, the way no. that Tuchel plays is like Tuchel plays defensive as fuck, <laughs> okay? And he basically, he's, you know what? Tuchel is such a fraud <laughs> because he's like, he saw Conte and Mourinho and was like, you know what? Look at that defensive counter-attacking football. I want that. So I'm going to sign, even though he is a world-class striker, but he's like, I'm going to sign two of your players front to back, Kane and Dyer. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> but you know what? They still got the win over you guys. So hey. I hope they get smashed in the semifinals. Um, I think they're gonna be going up against Real Madrid. So they <laughs> North side's got the wooden spoon out. <laughs> no, no, he's got the wooden spoon out, bro. I saw that he got the wooden. He doesn't even have the slipper out. He has the wooden spoon. Uh, a lot more upset than we are. Yeah, yeah, he's a lot more upset than we are, just because again, I keep saying this, and everybody's just like, Why aren't you mad? Why aren't you mad? What what did you expect? I'm furious inside, but I'm just not gonna let it out on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I might go smash a break a bottle or smash a mirror or something, but I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna chill. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. Here you guys wanna hear what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour myself just just two fingers of the finest whiskey I have in my in my shelf, and then I'm gonna sit on my deck and it's a beautiful day out here in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm gonna sit out on my deck. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna take a few deep breaths before I have to go on Sarcasm City, and do Good this luck. all over again. Good I'm gonna do that with a uh, long two hours. Nice pre roll, TJ. TJ. The stars are aligning, TJ. They're aligning. All right, TJ, I got a bounce soon, so we're cool to get start with these. Yeah, players. let's go. Let's get started. Cubed, cubed, are you gonna Are you gonna hang out? Are you gonna watch us? Did you watch are you the gonna game? Offer your positions, Cubed. I watched. I watched half 
of the game because I had an appointment later, a meeting oh, okay. later. So, so I watched half. You guys were actually, okay, I'll give you guys credit about this thing. The first half, which is the half that I watched, you guys were all right. You guys were actually pressing. You guys were, you know, I think that you guys were playing pretty, pretty well. But then it all fell apart. <laughs> I can always okay, right. on the player rating. I can always ahead, guess. I don't like you, but I'm not, I'm not phased by it at all. We played like garbage in the second half again. Oh, don't the ask. First game really? They, they actually, TJ. City's oh, out. They, city are out. Oh. Yes, you're the out. Dream first oh, sorry, sorry, sorry Tottenham. You're not going to the Champions Let's League. What you do now, Harry Kane. <laughs> like I care. We're going to burn about Harry Kane. Like so I give out. a shit. I already said that I don't want. I don't even think that it's good for us to go to the Champions League. You're going to your. Europe, you're going to your. Europe. Europe. Ah, it's both Liverpool. Aston Villa is the only team that's going to be repping Europe this season. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> England are in the mud, bro. Because oh, but you know, way. you know, Sid, if Liverpool come back from Atlanta tomorrow, right? That's going to be even. That's going to make me even more pissed off because I hate Liverpool. I don't think they're coming. And back. there's no way West Ham beat Leverkusen. There's no way. Let's do ratings. Yeah. Let's do ratings. But Let's you know, do ratings. You know, yeah, everybody, City, everybody's super good. You know, everybody because City is out though. They're really, they're really coming for that title though. That means they're yeah, really I'm coming for that. that. And, and the, uh, the, uh, the FA Cup. Well, it's up to you to stop them, then, isn't it? So that's made me a little bit happier. <laughs> that city has been not well. It doesn't actually. Come on, Cube, close. stop them. Stop City. Do it for the arse. Oh my god, you're actually supporting Tottenham for once now. <laughs> I want them to beat City. Well, I would love, I would love, I would love for Tottenham to beat City. I would love for Tottenham to beat City. We need to win, and we have to play Tottenham first. I think. Well, I think we're going to beat Tottenham. Um, but I, I would um, love. I don't know Tom. why Met Man City, but Man City have still have not scored. At that new shiny new Solus Stadium, TJ, um, if they play their high attack, if they play their high line football, Tottenham are going to get finished. I'm telling I you know they are. I know I'm being finished. facetious. Sorry. All right, let's get into the let's get into the player ratings. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You really yeah, want to be Spurs coming in that long? <laughs> Cube, since you only watched half the game, just chime in when you have a comment. Um, <laughs> um, David Rea. Connor, I'll, I'll I'll have you. We'll we'll each take a player. David Rea, Connor. I mean, he couldn't do much about the goal because everyone was just stood like statues. So I can't really blame him too much. He made some good saves today. To be fair, he got lucky with the one on the bar. It was just mid. He didn't really have that much to do. Um, so for that reason, I'm just going to give him a standard five. In my opinion, yeah, standard five. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I don't think he really did anything. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do much right. Yeah. Probably the highest rate you might get the one that's no. about. It wasn't the thing is it wasn't a bad performance. The team actually played well. It's just the attacking once again let us down. Instead of the defense this time, it was the attack because they couldn't score. That's no, who we should yeah. be blaming today, the attack, not the defense. Right. Well, I agree with that. By the way, we we have 16 people in here. Make sure you guys are smashing the likes up. Make sure you're subscribing to Oregon Goon. Make sure you're subscribing to Connor CMO Sports People. Oh boy, we'll be there. Um, we'll be we'll be there if I don't have to work. We'll be there. Um, Ben White, Dow, what do you got? Um, five. Mm. Average. I thought he didn't didn't. Today was the day where everyone needed to show up and do something special. Everyone needed to have that extra, extra special quality, dig deep down inside and find it. Find something that's going to do to win the game. And, you know, unfortunately, he went through the motions like everyone else. So, yeah, five. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fair so, enough. I think my drinks no. will be right back. No, no worries. No worries, buddy. Um, Saliba. He done all right, to be fair. He, he did all right. Good. He was decent to them. I think, I think, and I think, I think, I think I would, I would have given wide a six. I think that's. Oh, I agree. I agree. I think he was good. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, going to, I think the back line, I mean, who was going to, who was marking, who was marking him? Who was marking Kimmich though? Um, like, like Martinelli. Yeah. So why is, why, why, why? Just because of the position he was in. Because right. Kimmich was at right back, remember TJ? He wasn't actually meant to be in the box. Yeah. So, you know, but. I don't know. I think they're all just ball watching at the end of the day. But I, it's it's so annoying because once again, it was one error that's lost us this game. 
Yep. And bar that, the defence was actually fine today. It was. There, there was nothing bad with it. However, it's just so annoying how that one moment catches you out. As soon as it happens, the whole the defence just gets shut on. So I'm not going to criticise. This is the thing. I can't sit here and rant that highly on Arsenal today because it sounds stupid, but bar the, the goal we conceded, we weren't that bad today as a whole. It was just the attack that let us down because when we were producing stuff, our manager didn't want to change our tactics. It's as simple as that. So anyway, I don't want to keep waffling on. Yeah, I really right. hope I really hope we can break the manager though. I really hope we can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wonderful, Saliba, maybe wonderful. Your... So cronky to, the cronky is to watch, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm glad that they could find their way to Germany, but they can't they can't seem to find their way to North London. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Gabrielle Connor. Um, nearly had a bozo moment again. Ooh. Nearly, mm. and I was going to rip into him if he scored the conceded that. So for that reason, in my in my eyes, he was the less aware. So he gets a four because mm. he nearly he was so close. I would have killed him. Real talk. So he's lucky that didn't go in. So four, because he, he wasn't paying attention. He was the least defensive minded out of all of them. Um, yeah, very lucky. Fine, fair. Very lucky. Fair. Down. So go back to bed, you're like 60. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 60. You're losing your head. You, you lost your head and you're 60. Carry on. Down. Yeah. What do you yeah. got for Tommy, buddy? Uh, six. I thought he was definitely one of the better defenders. Yeah, respect to Tommy Asu today. He was sure. fucking good. No, he was yeah, good. To, six, he was so good. I can't go higher than six. Yeah, no, he was good today. And he better start against Wolves. You this took the words right out of my mouth. If we do not see Tommy Asu start at the left back position for the rest of the season, I am going to be absolutely yeah, this manager Especially while we still team. have, like, so you're saying there's a chance of a chance that, right. um, that we can win the league. Mm. Like, while we are still in the race, we need to be playing Tommy Asu at left back every single fucking yep. game. But TJ, if, if this manager rotates this team once, we've got one game a week while Chelsea. If we rotate this team once, unless it's an injury, I swear on my life, I can't be asked. Seriously. Um, but I do think as much... Actually, no, we're getting to Jorginho now. We're getting to Jorginho now. Yeah. Yeah, Jorginho. but by the way... Guys, this is your this was your your lineup. This was the lineup that you guys preferred that you guys had talked about. This is the ideal best lineup. I'm still yep. gonna get it done. I mean, what's with that? I think it's tactics. I've said I've literally I've literally said it's it's tactics. The entire the entire thing. You got a bunch of people. You got a bunch of guys doing the same thing, and there's this thing, and there's this thing. Yeah, big up, big up, Danny. Every single time, big up, Danny. Danny the Bun in the chat. Big up, Danny. Yeah, he's going to the North London Derby. That'll be cool, bro. I'm jealous. That's sick. Um, but yeah, no, I um, it's it's tactics cubed in my opinion. Like we're doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting the and expecting different results. And there's this thing. It's called video that you can watch. Um, where you can learn tactics and and how Arsenal go forward, and they locked us down. No new ideas. That's the biggest. That's my biggest problem with the way we, we performed today. There were no new ideas. Nothing. They had a low block. Look at how many times they were like, like there was times the Ray Sonny was free through. You know, just getting the ball, going right through our midfield. But he was so far ahead of the rest of the Bayern Munich players, he literally had to stop the ball and wait for them to catch up with them. And that's how they did it. They did the low block, outlet to Sané. He goes crazy on the side, and then he just holds the ball up, waits for the other players to come, and then they start putting together combination passes. And that's exactly what happened. And we were too far up to get caught, to be able to catch up with them at times. Yep. That's what I saw today. You, can't, you have this team, right, which is our best team. They played good football. Mm. To the point where they can only play it in this system, you right. can't. It, you can't play the same system against every team and expect it to work. Correct. This team can adapt; it can work. It's the thing of the manager and his staff to give them those instructions to adapt. 
because they they're under orders they've got to follow the they can't just go off on one and do whatever they want because otherwise the manager might drop them and it, we you know they might take them out of the squad not listen to his instructions you've got to be able to manage a team <laughs> to be a manager you've got to be able to tactically change your team and this team able to do that this team is good enough this team played well today away from the goal this team played well today it was it, we didn't get smashed we went level with Bayern today, and at times we looked on top, especially the first half. But it comes to a point where you play well, but you can't create anything. You have to change your tactics. It's as simple as that. And I think a lot of managers actually have that problem nowadays in this game. I think they do. I think they have problems with, with changing things in game. Only the elite ones can change things. It's very rare nowadays, I think, in games, you see a manager willingly changing his style in mid-game. Seriously. Right. Totally, you totally, totally hit the nail on that. Look at Carlo Ancelotti putting to was it Tukami, Tukanami, or whatever his name is, the French it, it, kid. It, 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 back, God, I suck at Maybe it's center back for most of Madrid's season, and they still wouldn't concede. They still weren't losing, and that's the thing. I've cried out for Martinelli to play up front several times, and I know it's not a bit his best season, but Connor's like so right. It's more than just switching the player out in the position. Like we could have gone to a four two three one, right? We could have done something. We could have gone to a four four two. You know, with maybe Jesus and Martinelli up front, with Trossard on the wide left, Martinelli Rice in the middle, and Saka on the right. But then again, Saka just it's it was almost playing like with ten men. He was so ineffective today, guys. I CJ, just, I've been oh. sent the link for Michael Topoff. See you later. I hope. Oh, shit, you have to change the screen for player ratings. Don't That's worry. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sweet. No worry, brother. Take care, boys. I'm I'm fuming yeah, and girl in cubes. Take care, guys. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. Oh, have shit. fun, bud. And there we go. He's gone. And he's gone. He, he cubed our little boys growing up. He's uh he's going over with Terry. He's 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 really. He's really? Us oh, Oh, he's too big time for us. I talked about you being big time. This kid's so... being big time. Elias, I didn't miss my I didn't miss your super chat. Go back. Go back. Go back and watch it. Elias, you absolute fraud. Somebody time out Elias for fun. Somebody time out Elias to make me happy. Will somebody do that, please? For funsies. Um Cook your family up, for DJ. You had a very rational prediction. Um, prop at Chelsea TV. Tune into uh, tune into Sarcasm City tonight. I'll uh, I'll go in on my fan base. Don't you worry about that. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, quickly. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Jacob. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, we'll go. Also, we'll, congratulations. Me... Congratulations. Also, yeah, you know what? I'm such an asshole. Congratulations, Jacob. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Jacob. You, you, beautiful baby daughter. He sent us some pictures in the American Waffle chat. Yeah, congratulations, my friend. Gorgeous little girl. Yeah. Nice. What, what a lucky guy he is. Unbelievable. All right, hold on one second. The dogs are losing their minds. One second. So it, is is Fratetta actually, you know, as as elite as everybody keeps talking about? Because no, I mean, he's he, not. <laughs> He can't oh, even go up against Tuchel, a, a manager who's already sacked. Yeah. 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 Think about this. We've, we've now conceded, I think, lost 17 out of 18 cup runs in Arteta's reign. <laughs> we've won one FA Cup in 18 cup opportunities, including today, I believe. Yeah. I mean, it just like if you own a business, you would, and let's say you owned a, I don't know, a, a barber shop. You had a general manager and they were consistently losing client base, you're consistently losing money. And so I mean any kind of business, you wouldn't you wouldn't hire, you wouldn't keep that person on the job. Like if so you're isn't that funky's fault? Review, yeah, of course, yeah, it isn't all comes down to copies. But I believe here's what I believe, Q from day one. I don't know if you've heard of this or not, but I think Arteta snaked his way into the job with Josh. I think he used Josh as, you know, and his naivety of, of English football and said, oh, I'm kind of the guy, you know, and got in those good graces. And Josh was like, hey, Dad, let's just have our <laughs> I, I, I truly think that's what happened. I truly think he snaked his way. Ask Jermino. Jermino knows these things. 
He snaked his way into that job because he took advantage of the opportunity because we were in complete disarray after we got thumped by Chelsea in the Europa League, the Europa Cup, by when we had Emery. There was complete disarray at the club that summer. Arteta snaked his way in there. Because why would Ancelotti go to fucking Everton? I, I'm telling you, it was lined up for Ancelotti. A bunch of crap happened, and Arteta had Arteta was the man. Got picked. True. He, I mean, you know, it wouldn't shock him. Yep. He staked his way into that job. I'm dead serious. He's the one that should have gone to Everton. <laughs> no, I agree. I'm I just agree. yeah. I, I and I was on. I've been on the fence for with him a long time, but I think I have clearly gone over the Arteta fence now, because what we saw today was just what we've seen for the last three or four seasons. We cannot beat a low block. We could barely do it against Luton. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> When we play well, I'm all behind the team. When we play well, we go on this incredible run of 30, 31 goals scored and four conceded. And any team in the Prem would love to have that record. Tottenham, United, anybody. That's an incredible run. It is. But when the comes, when the rubber really beats the road, and I'm, it's not surprising to me for following this club for 25 years that we bottle it when the going gets tough. Yeah, That's I mean, you guys are. You guys are the biggest bottlers in the last few years. You bottled. Oh, I'm not the hearing this from you. The this from you. But now you're you you're bottling again. Kind of. We didn't bottle. We, I, here's the. What's your definition of bottling? Is, is bottling like like Just all the way up to the last of the last week of the season, and then you bottle it? Because I, I, I last season, yeah, 100 percent, we bottled it, 100 percent. But this yeah, season, we're we're, we're, we're we're close. It. We're out in April, like. It's looking peak in April. How are you? How is that a bottle job? Yeah, but you knew you knew Aston Villa was a big game, man. Your team I know knew. I did. I, I tried you to warn knew people that, that was that was imperative, and that you guys were on top. The fact we that you were on Bayern, that you were on top in the later part of the season, and now it's in their hands. That's bottling. That is bottling, my friend. Too, but this what's, this still happened under Wenger. Like, this isn't a new thing under Arteta. That's why this older gun, gunners, whatever, are so pissed off because it's the same saying. It, it doesn't matter now if Wenger was even in the job or not because it's the same dark cloud that hung over Arsenal as it did the last half of Wenger's career. And that's the problem all of us old heads have about it is that, yeah, you could change the face of the manager, but the mentality stays the same until we start to invest heavily into great top players and make it and find a manager that players want to come to and play for, then we're going to just be in the same seat that we have been for the last 10 years. You know, just absolutely just trotting along, being mid table. Well, not mid table above you guys, of course, but you guys are mid table, thoroughly mid table. But all of the run you guys had, we were finishing fourth and fifth while you guys were finishing third and fourth. So, I mean, it's just kind of flipped around the other way now. But I guarantee if Arsene Wenger was in the job, we would not have won today either with that group. There's nothing no, Wenger, point. Would have done, Wenger would, have, would have changed some shit up. But we don't have the staff. We don't have the bench. We don't have the, 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 the bench. And you need, you know, you need your first 11. You need 14, 15 players to win these tough games. You need to have the subs come off the bench and produce something. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it's just, it was just well, proven today, with the, this week. I mean, with Shaka, I mean, you can take the bottle out of a player, but you can't take the bottle out of a team, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. I'm, you know what, Cube, I'm cutting you off. Let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do, let's shut out Elias real quick. A little too all, all of his, um, all of his, um, all of his all of his um, burner accounts are getting banned, which I think is hilarious. But thank you for the super chat, Elias. He says, "Fun fact: Eric Dyer has reached as many UCL semis as Arsenal have in their entire history." Hold that fraud, TJ. Okay, well, keep holding the bans because I think it's funny. Thank you for your money. Um, okay, um, I I don't even care to finish the the player ratings. Like, who cares? Going. Everybody, you want to keep going? Okay, yeah. fine. We'll keep going. I gotta keep going then, but shit. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um. Next was Declan Rice. What do you got, Dal? I don't have a chart. Um, um, we don't have a chart, so just call, just shout it. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, six. I just think he was 
It was better than some. It's still pretty pretty average. Not his best game. Yep. No, no, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty average, six. But uh, but you're not like. But you know, a lot of people are going to jump on Declan Rice as the reason why we didn't produce. Like I, I don't. When Declan Rice came into this team, I wasn't expecting Declan Rice to be like scoring goals. He's right. a six in the in the true sense of the word. So when people get on him about not producing, like that's like produce what? What did you expect well, him to produce? Well, I well he's like, like he's GA, pretty, like he's not going to be that guy. He's never he's oh, never been that but guy. He's not in the sixth role. He's the eight role. He's a he's the left mid role. So I expect him to go up and down the pitch like a freaking you know like a Clydesdale and cutting in passes, intercepting passes, and putting one once in a while top bins from twenty yards out. That's what I expect. Yep. I want him to do Granite Jaka things that Granite Jaka took eight years to finally figure out how to do, and now he's doing big. He's doing great at Jaka, Jaka Arsenal things at Bayer Leverkusen. Yep. You know, Declan Rice is a great player. He is great. I think the level's there. He is, he, he can be the, the Arsenal captain. But when he's on the left side, he's supposed to produce something, right? And I thought he was okay. Like I said, I gave him a six. He was decent today. But I just don't want him responsible, TJ, of having to clean up in front of the back four every single game. Yeah, because then who we have in left mid? Then we're looking at Havertz. Well, we know he's dog shit. And then the next one up is Emerald Smith Rowe. Well, you're now dropping down. I mean, I think Emerald Smith Rowe's a better footballer than Havertz, but he hasn't played. He hasn't been looked at. So I mean, it's like throwing Emerald Smith on. What's he gonna do? It's like throwing Eddie and Kenny on today. What, what's the expectation? And that's yep. the thing. We've been on the hope strategy for so long that we just hope someone does something. We hope he does something. You know, I just, I'm, I'm done with hope, but I just want to see real performances and crunch times. Yeah, no, I'm with you. And I understand, no, and the, the rating, I think the rating's spot on, to be honest with you. I just think that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get, I'm not, the one thing I'm not going to hear is like, like blaming him and, and no, the people, people not. coming out and being like, oh yeah, a hundred million dollars. Where'd you get, where'd that get you? It's like, no, the player, no, no. player of the season for you guys. Why For is sure. anybody attacking Declan Rice? I mean, you know, here he may have like a bad game here and there, but I mean, he's your player of the season. 100%. He really hasn't even put, he has, he really has only put in like two or three truly bad performances. The rest of the time he's been, he's been consistent. But, but, so, but so like, like, yeah, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not here. We needed Declan Rice, but a little more extra today. We needed extra from everybody today. So that's yep. right. It keeps right. It's not, it's definitely not on his lap. It's on Arteta's lap. It's on Arteta's lap because the players tried to execute what he set up. And again, it looked decent in the first half. But when it comes to Martinelli, you've got to trap the ball and just slam it. Like you, there's no time to waste. Like it, we've been saying all along, you diddy daddy on the ball, they just come and knock you over. And they yep. positionally, they know what to do and where to be at all times on the pitch. So it was one of those things Martinelli should have scored. And, and if he did, I, and maybe that one when he was through too, 2 0, of course, a different game, and we would have won. I think if Martinelli would have scored, we would have won that game 2 0 or 2 1 today. I agree. Um, Jorginho, I'm going to give a five. Average. Average. Bang average. Had a, had a couple of balls over the top. But um, guess what? Jesus was offside. Kai Havertz offside. Right. What are you Larry. supposed to do? Like, I don't understand why we're playing the back line and we can't stay on side. So yeah, we're yeah we're you're you're doing you're doing last man back line, trying to beat them. But I I don't recall that actually working for us um, all season. So why are we doing that now? Don't just, know. just an observation. Um, what do you got for what do you got for Odegaard? Jesus. Jesus is always offside. He's like Richie. They're both I always offside. We'll just go with these, <laughs> these strikers. <laughs> They're always offside. Right? <laughs> Same with Um, uh, who who do you want me to rate? Havertz next or Odegaard? Odegaard. Odegaard. I'm going to give him a six as well. Um, no, I'm going to give him a five because yeah. he wasn't holding the. Excuse me. He wasn't making the passes like he normally has. But again, Byron Munich wasn't leaving the space for him to make those passes. They had limited space. 
Uh, what's his name? Lemire played a good game. Goretzka was fantastic again. Um, and they just contained Odegaard, even though, like we've talked before, TJ Odegaard needs room to move on the ball to do his trickery. He had a little bit of that, but there just wasn't really that end product. There wasn't really that killer pass that never really came. Um, so with that, yeah, five. He was kind of average out there. Yep. I thought no, he I was agree. actually pretty decent in the first half. Granted, I don't know what happened in the second. Oh, he half. was he was decent. Everybody was I thought was decent in the first half. Cube, not to not to not to cut you off. I think everybody was really decent in the first half. But I literally said I I said I'm like the, I, I bet you Arteta's given these guys sedatives over over halftime, like because we saw the same thing against Aston Villa. We just come out, we come out flat, and they jumped on us. Like and there's there's no excuses for that. And again, I think that falls on the manager. I think that falls on the manager, 100%. Um, one more. Let, let's rush through this because I want to go say go, I want to say hi to my wife for the first time in like two days. Um, Martinelli. I'm gonna five. give him. A, I'm giving him. A, I'm giving him a, a four or a five. Four. Um, five four. I give him a four. You gotta finish those, bro. You gotta. You gotta, fin finish, you gotta finish those. He did oh, a little right bit better today. Five. He did a little bit better today, scanning, looking for the pass. He, right. he, he's picking right. his head up. You can tell that Arteta showed him that and said something and said, "Hey, you guys need to be, you guys need to be scanning, looking for the pass." Um, and yeah, I, I'm gonna give him a four. I'm just sorry, my head is gone now. My head's completely gone now. Um, what do you got for um, King Kai, gal? Two. <laughs> King Kai, my ass. Yep. He had a purple patch. He slows the game down. This is what I was getting to a debate with Anthony Herbert with on Jez's channel before the show. I was picking Jesus to start up front, but just get that speed, get that pace, get, get, get something going, right? I think Jesus does, you know, he, he upsets defenders. He gets in their faces. He does all that stuff. He's not the finisher you want. But my idea was to hit him with pace at first, and then bring Kai Havertz on later to sort of be that physical presence in the end. But, of course, what do I know? So Havertz, a two. He was absolute horseshit today. Yep. You know, he was yep. right, left mid again. Why? God, I don't know what Emerald Smith-Rowe has to do to get in this side. And uh, I just – I don't – I've not seen what Kai Havertz really, really, really brings. I just – I don't see it. And I'm sick of fucking the King Kai motto. He scored some important goals. You know who scored important goals? Let's not forget this name, Arsenal. Nicholas fucking Bettner scored important goals. Nicholas Bettner scored important goals for Arsenal when he played. Lord Bettner. That's what he is. He's a fucking Nicholas Bettner. B-Tech Nicholas Bettner is what Havertz is. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, he's, uh, King Kai scored important goals? Yeah, great, fine. But when, again, when the... When it absolutely matters, TJ, like today, Kai Havertz was nowhere to be seen. No. But Kai Osaka. Big up Ben Kaufman, by the way. The Mod Fathers in the building, people. Big up Ben Kaufman. Um, he's a Tottenham fan, but we don't hold that against him. Kind of like Cubed. Um, uh, man. Yeah, Ben Kaufman's 100% the man. Um, but Kai Osaka gets a three. Mm -hmm. Um Locked up, won't let me out. Um, his st his stats were absolutely awful today, but I'm and you guys are gonna ro I'm gonna get roasted for this, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt a little bit. Arteta's tactics um, don't give him much room. I I've said it before and I'll say it again. The fact that he keeps getting locked down in the corner like that is because Arteta is putting him in those positions to do so. There's no effort to change formations where he's at on the pitch. Our attacking our our attacking um, posture, nothing. No new ideas. Nothing, no new ideas whatsoever. So yeah, no three, three for Guy Osaka. He's fallen off the wagon, um, and I would say he needs a rest. But we need, but there's nobody else we can play over there. Um, this kid is going to be run into the ground. He's probably going to be retired by the time he's 28. The fact that this guy, and, and he's going to be playing for England. He's going to be playing every single fucking game. So we need to figure out how to play this kid and get the best out of him now because he's going to be playing every single match from now until this time next season. So, yeah, three for Bakayo. Um, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, what? 
We don't have to do subs. Yeah, I'll screw the subs. Arteta. Um, <clears throat> one. I think that's, I think that's, that's, yeah. And just because he got the back four right. Um, Jorginho was a surprise entry for me. I really, really thought he was going to go with Thomas Party today. I really thought he would bring him back because I thought Jorginho's legs were done, which they were in the first, pretty much the first half after the first half. That's why he got subbed off. Mm -hmm. Second, not, you know, again, average four or five rated player. Um, but the whole, but what you just said about Saka is right. A one for dropping Zinchenko. I was getting there. <laughs> Thank you. Jovino knows, bro. Jovino knows. He knows. He read my mind. Yeah, a one for Zinchenko to one for Kai Havertz again, who slows the game down. For those Arsenal fans who don't really know what the Arsenal way is of football, go watch early and middle years of Arsene Wenger and the type of football we played with Freddie Lundberg, Dennis Bergkamp, Robert Perez, um, of course, Henri. I mean, that's I don't even have to mention that name. Patrick Vieira, et cetera. There was a way we moved the ball that was slick, concise, and deadly. And we see none of that now. We see a team that gets lost for ideas in the 18-yard box. Totally confused where to go. Should I pass it left, right? Should I sling it across the goal, flick it up? Oh, he's off sides. Oh, should I play it to soccer? He's double teamed, pass it back. It's routine. It's routine football. And we've been found out. It only took a few videos of Thomas Tuchel to find out, eh, I'll play a low block, hit him on the counter, let Musiala run around in there with Gretzka a little bit, bring Lemire back to be the fifth defender. Eh, it's cake. They basically played a 5-2, what, a 5-2-4? Essentially? A 5-2-1? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, and, and then the, the, he doesn't make adjustments. He's reactive with his substitutions, which at times I, I feel is okay, depending on the situation, of course, and the squad you're playing against. But it's just – it's 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 dire to watch right now. And I don't mean Eric fucking die. Yeah, you guys could have scored. Eric Dyer as the defender hey, there. Shout yeah. Shout out, Eric Dyer. Yeah, you did – paid to do and you got your paycheck for the week now you can go sit down and go get slaughtered by madrid i don't even want to talk oh, oh my god in the yeah, stream the, your your, yeah. your legend your legend Henri, was just on the telly just now just fuming yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why right why do you think the way that you, you know, play you. that's it's our legend because he notices the differences in number one the 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 players, the stature of the players, who they really are, and who they kind of represent. Shout out Uncle Rods in I Europe. I mean, Rod. Odegaard has been a drifter for how many years before he landed at Arsenal? I, and that's just the beginning. And so Henri's pissed because he sees that we're slow. It's slow moving, methodic football. And the methodic part is okay at times, but if you get nothing from it, then what the hell are you playing slow for? Like you're trying to ping it around Bayern Munich. They're wanting you to do that. They, he set him up to do that, to take the pressure and hit him on the counter. And it worked again today. Today, it worked again in the second half. We did not look good in the second half. We lost the game in the second – well, we lost the game literally in the second half, but we lost the game in the second <laughs> half. Yeah, I mean, it's just – it was a different Arsenal team. And I don't know, Cube, if Arteta's telling them – something different at halftime yeah. you know i understand like you come in for the first half hey we didn't get a goal we had two two three different you know two or three good efforts but let's just try this and that but to me arteta is just like saying you know fuck that let's wipe the slate you go here you go here and you go here and all of a sudden now everyone's looking at each other confused where to go and we look confused in the second half they got the goal in 10 minutes fucking right after the whistle went off I think they scored the wow, Jimino is shitting on your Jimino is shitting on your legend. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 Irish, so he has his reasons. All right, let's yeah. let's take let's take it out of here because you know I gotta go say hello to my my lovely wife before yeah, I go to Kevin City and get absolutely cooked. 
um cube thank you so much for coming on um any 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 final words and leave it leave it leave it to like two or three sentences uh so there are a lot of people in the chat when i was talking that were salty and you can hold that salt just like how Fratetto held that meat in his mouth because you're you're oh making God. a lot of comments about spurs but you know what i'm not saying that spurs aren't shit. we're in the gutter it's just that you're you joining us here. you are joining us in the gutter enjoy the view thank you cube that was that was that was concise <laughs> So don't forget that there's nothing but a gutter that needs leaf guard. <laughs> Clean the gutter. Shut yourself out, bro. Check me out on Oregon Goon on YouTube. Check me out Oregon Goon HD on X, infamous underscore Dow on Instagram. Um, every Friday with this fraud, which I hate that word now. With this <laughs> of my guy TJ. I, it's funny to hear Spurs say frauds when they're the most fraudulent club in the freaking league. Uh, hold that cube. So. Shout out TJ. Shout out Cube. Thanks for having me on. See you on Friday, TJ. Fuck Bayern yes, Munich. Fuck Leroy Sané. Fuck Gretzka. Yeah. And speaking of Friday, people. Speaking of Friday, oh. uh, we are going to redirect you over to Casually FC, where Marshall will be will be talking about this game, and Marshall will be on American Idiots with us representing Chelsea as we do play Chelsea next Tuesday, I believe. Um, because I don't know any Wolves fans, so we're just going to skip right to Chelsea. <laughs> So big up Marshall. He will be on um, on American Idiots on Friday. Um, and you can catch me over on Sarcasm City here in about 20 minutes. Um, but until then, guys, Arsenal lose. They are at, We are out of the Champions League. And, uh, yeah, what else? I say, say TJ, T, TJ Warren TV raid, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.